Hey everyone, Devon Digital here, and I'm here to talk about the Android 14 Beta 3. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and get right into this video. Right here, you see this is my Pixel 6 Pro. I decided to keep my Pixel 6 Pro as a beta phone. So for now on, any betas is going to be on this phone right here completely. That's everything. And here it is. And this is my Pixel 7 Pro. This is my main device. I would never put a beta on this device right here. I'll do all my software testing on this device here. And then when the Pixel 8 come out, I will go ahead and sell this six and this will become my new beta phone while I'm using the eight. So with all that being said, let's just get right into like the most biggest visual change and the fingerprint reader on this is still pretty, pretty bad, but there is a bug and I'm going to talk about bugs too that not that I'm having, but other people are having using the same beta because I did ask everybody on Twitter, what type of bugs are you having? Because everybody's not going to share the same bug. So one bug is that a guy said that he actually has a slow lock screen it just like it takes a long time to unlock mine do too per se but i think it's just due to the fingerprint being slow but as you can see there is a delay between it and the animations so yes that is a bug that i currently do have on the pixel 7 looks like it's the same animation no it's not <laughs> okay maybe it was because it always on display nope just the first time unlocking. Okay, so with that being said, the first visual change on this is really the lock screen customizations. They really allow you to really deep dive and kind of get into your lock screen and change it up and, you know, just kind of, it's finally here again. It's not nothing new to Google or anything like that. They had it on Nexus devices a long time ago with widgets and everything else, but then they completely got rid of it. And now I guess because the competition is doing it, they felt the need to bring it back. So you can definitely go in here and customize a lot of things, colors and everything else. And it's a good welcome change. I mean, I'm not mad about it. You even can change your shortcuts. You can't change anything you want, but they do give you more options. And I guess in Android where options is always good. So less is not so good. So now you got options to actually add shortcuts and everything like that. And yeah, so I'm pretty much liking the minimal customizations that we can do. This seems to be my favorite lock screen right here. So this is the one I'm going with. And you know, you can customize the home screen and everything else. And they also added more icons. So you got more colors for your theme icons, which is a big plus for them. And I'm, I'm happy that they added that. One of the things I'm happy about is that they added more like different colors for the icons now so you can actually get more colors than you normally you would pick or whatever like that so that's a good job on them so whatever wallpaper you change more than likely it could change to that color or whatever so to get all your icons themed like this one over here i'm using shortcut maker and material you the link is in the description of the video if you want to learn how to do that yourself or whatever but up here is just a default the icons that just pretty much don't have it themed yet and the only reason why they're not themed right now is because shortcut maker is kind of broken because this is a beta and it updated to it so whenever i can i'm gonna go ahead and you know fix that or whatever like that but at the moment i gotta wait for the developer to do an update so with that being said um there's not much else that is a super important change in Android 14 visually on this beta that I feel like is warrant to really talk about. But I can tell you some of the other little things, too, as well. One of those is icons on the side. If you notice on the side over here, icons have changed a bit. Not all of them, but you can see that they're a little bit different on the side and then add it more into the menu and they put the keyboard section in here and everything like that. So, if you know, just little stuff tucked away into the systems so when you go into your settings and you go down here to system this is where this is at and they just pretty much added new icons symbols there and added some more stuff under it just in case you didn't know during the first beta we actually got the flash notifications now so in here you can click over there and you can add flash notifications now and you can get your screen to light up and the camera lights up you know like back in the days before they took it away they brought it back but you can do that on Android 13. So that's another thing just in case you missed it. Also, if you go under security and privacy, you're gonna see that they actually made some changes to the menus in here as well. So you got different things that's over here. Pretty much they consolidated a lot of stuff under one thing. You have find my device over here, but over here they call it device finders. 
and you know you have a different menu now when you click it and everything else like that and you can have it on and off so they made a few visual changes pretty much in the settings and as you can see they both look different but they still have some of the similar functions that you do have and device unlock actually has um you know more options over here for you when it comes to your well not really more options but when you go into your pin you will have <clears throat> enhanced privacy over here versus not having it over here so you'll get that extra setting if you want and lock screen timeout and everything else is still there in instant unlock anyways i'm not going to sit here and go through every little small change as i say there's not a lot of big features that came this time around but we're going to get more as they progress with the betas and everything else and everything that we already do know that's coming to android 14 as far as feature drops and everything else if you want to go and find out every little small detail just go to another channel because another channel will definitely show you every little small detail as well as the charging new charging animation and all of that stuff like that and i'm just not that channel i'm just kind of like here to let you know about this beta and how it's running for me the beta has been solid it has been a daily driver it can easily be a daily driver at least for me in my situation but i did go on twitter and ask a lot of people about their experience running the beta to see how you know the beta is handling it for everyone else because everyone literally has different experiences so i just want to kind of like tell you about some known bugs that people are having with the pixel so if you do decide to install this beta then you might want to look out for these things now i want to say that these things that i'm going to talk about they're not happening on my pixel i did have a bug when i first installed it on my pixel 6 pro well when i updated it because i've been running the beta on this the whole entire time so when i did update it to the beta 3 my pixel launcher kept crashing so i really didn't want to clear the data in it to fix it but i did but i really didn't want to because then i had to go back and fix all my icons and set everything back up and all my settings but after that i haven't had any issues it was instantly crashing and everything so one of the things that people are saying that they were having problems with is that their share menu pretty much wasn't working. They said they'll go to share and then they'll hit more. And then once they hit more, it crashes. As you can see, mine isn't crashing. That is one of the bugs that you might want to look out for if you do decide to get this. A bug that I haven't tested because I don't really use USB or the USB Type-C port for listening to music. People say that when they plug up any headphones to this, the, aud the audio reroutes back to the phone and not the headphones. So I changed my mind. I decided to go ahead and test it out with the headphones. Here are my KG headphones plugged up to the Pixel. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and play a video right now and turn it all the way up. And it's actually playing in the buds. I'm going to put it up to the mic. Then I'm going to go ahead and unplug it. There it is, playing. Then plug it back up. And now let's switch to the bud. So I don't have that bug. Now, one of the other bugs that somebody said they was facing is that the notifications, when they pull the notifications down and they click on any of these toggles, it just crashes on them. As you can see, all mine work. No problem with clicking on any of my which guns at all and they work no crashing another bug is from a creator he said that in the youtube studio app if you're a creator and you're actually using this app he said that when he tried to share something it doesn't work it crashes on him when he's trying to share a video so here's me taking a video and trying to share it and let's just say we're going to share it to twitter and it's going to open up twitter and I'm able to share the video to Twitter, even though that's the Twitter shortcut right there. Hold on, let's, let's just do it again because it definitely didn't plug it in there real quick. I'm gonna go to the Twitter app. I think this is the app. I like to do the web shortcut. So yeah, there it is right there. So it works, doesn't crash on me. Now this bug I already told you about. I told you the delay, which I showed you earlier that I had unlocking it. So is a delay when unlocking your device and that is another bug right there. So it's a little slower than usual, but it still works. Now, I brought this bug back up because some people is completely missing 
their fingerprint. It doesn't work. It's not there anymore. It's gone again. Now, I remember having this bug like in the first beta, and it seems like that person is still encountering that bug. I really don't know a fix besides resetting the whole entire thing. So I'm not sure how to fix that. Um, the person that came to me, well, it, several people told me they had this bug, but one of them, I just suggested that you do a reset. They did a reset and their fingerprint came back. So it's not the best solution, but if you want to run beta software, you got to deal with the fixes and the problems and everything else. But some people completely do not have their fingerprint. So that is something to look out for too. I also want to bring this up in case you use Nova Launcher. I don't use Nova Launcher. I stick to the Pixel Launcher, but someone said the animations are broken again if you're using the Nova Launcher. So just a little heads up if you're using Nova as your default launcher. So yeah. All right. Another bug is that if you're using Android Auto and this happened I don't know if it's like widespread. Remember, I'm just reporting these bugs to you guys from other users who's who's installed the beta and they're just kind of reporting, let me know what's going on with their device. So you could kind of be on the lookout. But if you use Android Auto, the guy said that his phone rebooted three times while he's in Android Auto. And when he's not in it, he doesn't have the problem. But when he's using Android Auto, it reboots itself. So there may be a problem for everyone, may not. I can't test it right now because I'm in the studio, not in a car, but just giving you a heads up that that may be a bug if that's something that you use. Another bug that somebody reported is that their YouTube app, it just stays on the black screen when they open it up and it doesn't really open. It just kind of like hangs. So I'm going to open up YouTube and as you can see, YouTube opens up and it works, but just, just let's close it and do a fresh open up on it and see if anything happens. And there you go. YouTube seems to be working just fine. And let's go ahead and play a video just for the sake of it. It's one of my videos right here. And as you can see, the video is playing. So no problems with YouTube or anything like that opening up. Another bug seems to be in the Instagram app. A lot of people are reporting that the Instagram app is being becoming like black and white or don't know if you want to be in dark mode or light mode. I'm going to be honest with you. I have not experienced that on any of my pixels. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and open it up now to show you. And as you can see, no problem there. Now I have experienced that bug, but only on my Galaxy S23 Ultra. That bug happened. It's been happening for like two days straight on this device and not on my pixels at all whatsoever. So I don't know. I'm trying to make it happen right now. And it just, it just normally when I open up it, it will be all kinds of different colors. Let me grab my Ultra real quick and see if it's going to happen right now. So it doesn't happen all the time. It happens randomly. And right now it seems to be just fine. Let me close it and see, see it's random. So I can't, I can't really make it happen. But yeah, I do have that bug up here. So it's not really, I don't think it's an Android 14 thing. I think it's literally a Instagram bug. So just in case you're using Instagram, that might happen, but it might be Instagram, not Android 14, because it hasn't happened up here, but it happened up on my Galaxy phone. So anyways, guys, in conclusion, I just want to say that, you know, when it comes to these phones, everyone experience will be different. As you can clearly see uh, some of the bugs that these people had, I showed you that they're not they're non existing on my pixel and my experience right now with the pixel. So if you are having any bugs, you know, drop them in the comments, you know, share it. Make sure you always report these to Google first because, you know, reporting them to me or let me know. I'll just help make awareness for other people who want to install the beta because it's, it's kind of good. Some people want to install it, but they're nervous and don't really know if they want to put it up there because of bugs and stuff like that so i'm just i just want to know what other users are what type of bugs other users are actually having so we can go ahead and let other people know hey you might want to hold off because this might not work and this might not work and this might not work so other than that i really hope you enjoyed the video and i'll catch you in the next one delvon digital base